So it dawned on me at the end of last year that I'd never used the Twitter poll function. And I thought to myself, what better way to use the poll function than to engage in that holy sacrament of the statist religion, selection. I mean, election. Yes, have a vote. Everyone likes voting. It gives them the illusion of control, right? So, the Corbett Report held a Twitter vote, and it was a glorious dumpster fire. Now, the three choices that I offered people are the three choices that you get in most elections in most polities around the world, i.e. choice, basically the same choice, and a hipsterish alternative. And we were away to the races. And the early results showed choice, basically the same choice, were up there with hipsterish alternative, but before too long, as you might have expected from my audience, the hipsterish alternative started to take the lead. And boy, did that work well. Uh, so, I, after uh, the first 12 hours or so, I think it was a 24-hour poll, I started to notice, well, I think this is getting a bit out of hand. Hipsterish alternative is obviously going to win. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. So I started to make some updates to the selection process, imagining the candidates on the campaign trail. The first update being that Hipsterish Alternative has appointed Henry Kissinger as his foreign policy advisor. And then the update is that Hipsterish Alternative pledges 110% support to APAC. And we stand by Israel no matter what. And then Hipsterish Alternative uh, proclaimed that uh, there's nothing to see here with this spirit cooking nonsense. Those are just rumors. Marina Abramovich and I are just good friends. And yet still, Hipsterish Alternative pulled so far out in front that he ended up winning the election. And <laughs> then he asked people not to, not to pay any attention to the strange disfigurement of his face. <laughs> and then finally, when he wins, the acceptance speech is Emperor Palpatine in the Galactic Senate delivering his address. I will deliver a new world order and a thousand years of prosperity and freedom. <laughs> as the Galactic Empire descends. Uh, well, welcome to every vote that's ever taken place in history, to one form or another, to one extent or another. Uh, it's always the same, isn't it? And uh, I'm glad that a lot of people got it, got the humor, joked along, uh, make America choice again, and other tweets like that were uh, funny rejoinders to what was happening there. And a lot of people understood exactly what was happening and why it was happening, but some people <laughs> didn't. <laughs> some people complained as if this was some sort of real election. Well, why, you know, there's never a choice for, for none of the above. Or, uh, or uh, what's going on? Why would, why, uh, Henry Kissinger isn't hipsterish alternative. <laughs> Don't you get it? Don't you understand? That is the entire point. That is exactly what every election is like, selection. They cloak themselves in whatever cloak looks good to the public, and then they uncloak themselves after they get into power. It happens again and again and again and again and again. From Syriza in Greece to everyone else, they all betray whoever voted them into power for whatever transitory reasons. That was the point. And so I'm glad that this uh, selection became a dumpster fire of sorts, because that's exactly what it was intended to do. That's what all selections are intended to do. Remember, the real power is not in voting harder. The real power is in taking matters into your own hand, deciding what you will do each and every day. You vote every single day with how you choose to spend your time, what you spend your money on, who you spend, uh, who you befriend and who you shun. All of that is your vote that you make every day. And those are the votes that matter not casting ballots for a politician. Anyway, I'll leave the link in the show notes so you can explore that little Twitter poll. Thought it was a funny little experiment that I wanted to share with all of you. That's going to do it for today from the sunny climes of Western Japan. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.